Hey, what's going on, y'all? So this is gonna be another quick video. Um, this time I was able to make sixty-seven hundred dollars in six days. Now I don't have all the, the um, editing software and stuff, but this is where you come in with the claps and the applause. Yes, yeah, so it, it was a great week. So that was a little over a thousand dollars each day. Did real good, man. You know, before I quit my job, I definitely wouldn't have seen a thousand dollars. You know, in a day. So yeah, I quit my job, started doing this, and those are the type of numbers that I'm running, and that's what you can run. And so the key to that is grabbing partials, and then already being set up with these brokers. So for those of you all who don't know what a broker is, uh, the broker is the person that's in between the shipper and the carrier. So the shipper is where the merchandise is coming from, you know, the warehouse that is set up, whatever. And then I'll be the carrier, so I'm going to pick it up, carrying it from point A to point B. So the shipper will reach out to the broker and let them know that they have some freight that needs to be moved, you know, how much they're willing to pay for it. And then from there, the broker will go and put it up on the load board. And then the carriers, you know, will see it on the load board and will call in, negotiate with the price, and then, you know, book that load and go get it. So, yeah, the key to my success has been not getting the full truck load, you know, um, just grabbing partials. Because it's a lot of partials out here, you know, where it's just one pallet or two pallets where it's gonna pay you $2 a mile. And you got a 26 foot truck, you got a whole lot of space left back there. So that's what I do, man. I grab, you know, a pallet here, two pallets here, three pallets there, and they all going in the same direction. And that's how you're able to maximize your pay with a box truck or with any truck for real. So yeah. Um, I know a lot of people might not believe those numbers, you know, that's $6,700 in the box truck. So I'm actually going to upload the invoices that I sent over to my factory company. And my factory company is who pays me because you got two ways to get paid. You can use a factory company or you can get paid directly from the broker. So the brokers can take up to 30 days to pay you. But when you sign up with a factory company, you're going to complete the load. You send them the... Um, proof that you completed the load and you also send them the rate confirmation of how much you guys agreed on for you to move the load so yeah you get paid by the factoring company that same day or the next day versus you you know waiting on the broker to pay you so yeah i'll send you guys the invoices that i sent over to my factoring company so you can see that these numbers are legit um, so what this was I found a partial in Dallas that was going to Colorado. I think it was like two pallets. It was early in the day. Um, so I'm gonna pick those up. And I found another load where it was just one pallet going up to Colorado. So I was on my way to pick that up, found another load where this was like three pallets and they were going up to Colorado. So I went and grabbed all of that. One of them was paying $1,100, one was paying uh, $1,290, and one was paying $1,375. So, I grabbed all of that stuff, took it up to Colorado, and while I was in Colorado, I was able to find two local loads, which were each paying $450. So I dropped off all that initial stuff, and then I went and did these two local runs, which was paying $450 each. So now I'm at $900 while I'm in Colorado, like an extra $900. So now I'm trying to get out of Colorado and go back to Texas. I was able to get on the load board and I found something going from Denver to Houston. And they was paying $2,100. And I did that in six days. You know, so that was a, that was an incredible week. The two keys to my success, like I said, I've been getting partials and then being set up with these brokers already. So being set up with them, meaning that they sent you over a carrier packet, you already signed up, you already in their system. Because sometimes you'll get on the load board and it'll say you already have to be set up with us in order to book this load. So if you're not set up, you know, you just SOL, somebody's gonna, somebody else is gonna get the load. So I've been doing this since May. It's now November, you know, so I got a bunch of different brokers I ran with. Um, I built relationships with them, stuff like that. So they'll send me an email before the stuff even gets on the board. If I want to run the load tonight, or they'll call me sometimes to see if I want to run the load. So what I've done is I went and made a list of a bunch of different brokers that work with new authorities. So for you guys that are just now starting out, haven't did any runs, um, you can get set, you can get set up with these brokers and go do some runs with them because they work with new authorities. And then also the ones that 
may require, you know, 30 days of authority, 60 days, 90 days, you know, I've made a list. So if you guys want that list, just send me, I'm gonna actually put a number in the description. Um, you can just text that number, let me know that you want the list, and then cash at me $75, and I'll just send you guys over the list. And that is gonna make you guys successful. Because when I first started, my first two weeks, I couldn't book any loads. Because a lot of people kept saying, you know, your authority is too new. I kept running into that. I had dispatchers that I was set up with, and they was calling me back saying the same thing. You know, hey, um, you know, we can't find any loads for you. Your authority is too new, and blah blah blah. So I pretty much had to my truck set for two weeks, and I'm renting this truck. So I'm paying on the truck for two weeks, and it's not even moving. You know, but at the end of that first two weeks, I was able to, um, you know, start getting some loads. Eventually, I just had to do it on my own. You know, I had to get out here and just call a bunch of different brokers to see who will work with new authorities and, you know, do what I had to do. And like I said, I put that list together and all of these brokers have good credit scores too. So if you guys are gonna use a factoring company, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, can you factor the load with them? Because I'm using RTS, so you guys will be able to factor with all of these different companies, all these different brokers, um, and get paid out on, on these loads. So yeah, if you guys want the list, just text me. Um, and if you guys do have any comments, questions, if you're thinking about getting started, just leave it in the comments and I'll reply to it. Or you can uh, 